Hi guys and welcome to our drawing and coloring workshop! Try and guess what I'm drawing here? This magic creature will grow a beautiful mane in quite a bit. But for now, let's draw a little eye so that it could see us. Here goes a cute little ear and a rather long and strong neck. Does it look like a horse, huh? We will add this decor piece just to make this creature happier. Uh-huh. And now check this out. One, two, three, and a magic horn. I'm sure you've guessed what we're drawing here right away. Unicorns are my favorite fairy tale creatures. They are so beautiful. Oh, look! This little guy is winking at you. <laughs> he likes what we're drawing here. Did you know that unicorns can run really fast? That's because of their strong legs. Here's a couple of them. Now let's draw the front legs. Don't forget about the hooves. Hop and hop. Unicorns don't usually go too far from rainbows. Ours will have one right on the background. Now that this drawing is almost complete, we need to make the lines more visible. Just take a wide marker and outline everything that you've drawn. Wow, that's a real magic! <laughs> I guess our unicorn wants us to start with the purple color. <laughs> well, I don't mind at all. I love purple. Do you? It's important to stay in between the lines, so paint carefully. So this part is almost done. Why don't we make this one purple as well? This will look beautiful. A few more touches. And the next color is… What do you think? What do you think? Whoosh! Cyan! Oh, it really reminds me of the most wonderful things there are. Like the sky and the water in the ocean. It just feels like summer to me. Let's paint this part of the main cyan as well. It really looks good being next to purple, right? But we need one more color here. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Bright pink! Of course! Unicorns adore this color, I know! Do you like it? What color is your favorite? Hmm, I agree! I like it too! Ooh, we've got a heart spot here! I'm gonna do my best to make it colorful! Well, Mr. Unicorn, would you conjure the next color, please? Wow, it's yellow! It reminds me of a sour lemon. <laughs> or a sweet lemon cake. Let this neck piece be yellow as well. Or should I rather say gold? Once, I had a pendant in the shape of a unicorn's head. I knew that it could bring good luck to me and make my wishes come true. Let's see if the unicorns can still do that for me. I wish the prettiest color to be next. Hey, it worked! <laughs> Usually people draw unicorns white, but I want this one to be extraordinary. This color that is called magenta will do that trick. Be careful around the eye. Oh, that's right. Close it for a bit, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> what a smart creature you are. I always wanted to meet a real unicorn when I was a little girl. Now it feels like a dream come true. <laughs> Just a few more touches and the neck will be finished. I like how it's turning out so far. And we're moving on to the unicorn's body. Even though this part of our picture is quite big, I prefer not to switch my paintbrush to a wider one. It is just more comfortable for me. And this way, I make more or less even strokes all the way around this painting. Here goes one more leg. You know, even though there are some rules in painting and coloring, still the most important one is to have fun during the process. The 
The next color is brown. For the hoops, of course. <laughs> We'll make them bright and our beautiful unicorn will be able to run as fast as the wind. <laughs> I'm sure this unicorn could outrun any ordinary horse in the world. Do you agree with me, guys? Hmm, I wonder if riding a unicorn is the same as horseback riding. I guess we'll never know, huh? Is it just me or is the paint about to change its color? Purple it is! <laughs> we nearly forgot about our unicorn's tail! It should be no less beautiful than its mane. So why don't we make the center of it whoosh! Orange! What do you say? I really like how orange matches with purple. Such a bright palette! Now that our unicorn is perfectly colorful, it's time for us to deal with the background. And this time, I'm going to work with markers. Firstly, because this way the unicorn will show up better. And secondly, I love coloring with markers. <laughs> there is one important thing, though. You should make all of the strokes in the same direction. See? This way the picture will be more beautiful. Okay, next we'll take… The light green marker. Guys, do you know the proper order of the colors of the rainbow? I'm sure you do. That's why you might have noticed… That I've decided not to follow it this time. I want to create my own rainbow and so could you. Just get creative and set your imagination free. After the grass green comes golden yellow. Just check out how differently the unicorn begins to look on a bright background, right? I'm gonna use orange next. It reminds me of both sunrise and sunset, the two spectacular things I enjoy watching. I'm sure you like them too, guys. Now comes this part of the rainbow. And we're at the finish line. Just a few more strokes here and there. And here comes the last color for today. It kind of looks like a tasty berry. Mmm. Here we go. Hey, look at that! Our Mr. Unicorn even closed his eye imagining the berry I was talking about. <laughs> or maybe he's fallen asleep? In that case, have the sweetest dreams, little magic creature. See you in our next episode, guys! Bye-bye!